everyone and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie and today we are going to be making a really fruity soap. It has a lot of really pretty colors in it and the fragrance that we're using is called Mango and Mandarins. This is from Nature's Garden. I'm pretty sure that this is a Bath and Body Works duplication but it smells so amazing you guys. It's like I smelled it for the first time maybe oh I'd say about a month ago when I purchased the fragrance oil and was like oh my gosh I have to make Make. Like, this has to be a new staple product line. I have so many exciting things to share with you in this video. I'll probably do the majority of the talking while I'm doing the piping per usual. But if you're not following me on Instagram or on Twitter, you should do that because we are getting closer and closer and closer to the arrival of little itty bitty Carson. She is just about ready to pop. I'm filming all of these videos in advance, so it could be literally any time. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do for this soap is to pour the lye water solution into the oils. Never go the other way around. Always pour your lye water solution into your oils and not your oils into your lye water solution. Bad things can happen if you go the other way around. So we're going to mix this up real quick. Okay, so this has been emulsified quite well, so we're going to start splitting it off into the buckets. So in this first one here, I have Atomic Orange. This is from Nurture Soap Supply. It's a really, really potent orange. So I'm going to pour about this much, I think, maybe a little more into there and we're gonna put in a little bit of titanium dioxide in there to make it a peachy color. In this container right here I have New Leaf Green that is also from Nurture. This is just gonna be a pretty accent color so I'm gonna add about that much. Then I have a Raspberry Red Mica in this container here. We're going to do the least amount of soap in that one. Again that's also just as a pouring accent color and then this big container we're also going to add some more atomic orange to it. Actually I've switched them. I'm putting the titanium dioxide in this one and just a little bit of orange. This one's gonna be the peach color. Okay so let's start mixing these up. We're gonna start with this lighter orange first. I'm just gonna mix my stick blender around like this first so the uh, colorant doesn't puff 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 all over the place. And now we'll mix it up for real. So now that all of these splendid colors are mixed up, I'm going to scrape the sides of the containers like I always do just to make sure that all that mica is super good and incorporated and we didn't leave anything behind. These colors are amazing. This new leaf green is brand new. I just bought this about two weeks ago with the atomic orange and I am so in love with them. They're so heavily pigmented and the shades are super unique. Right, so now I'm going to mix in the fragrance soil into these and then we're gonna start pouring into the molds. Pouring time. Okay, so this dark orange is going to go first. This is the only orange I mixed with the stick blender. It's the only color. I mean, I mixed with the stick blender. So it's gotten a little thicker than the other ones, but that will honestly add a really pretty texture, I think, to the soap because it kind of helps break it up um, to have some that are a little thicker than others. Again, it kind of just adds to the prettiness on the inside, I think. I'm going to pour this green in here. It's a smaller stream, obviously, because I'm pouring out of a smaller little pitcher. And then with this raspberry red, I'm just gonna make sure that I really get kind of close to the ends. Cause I notice in my soap, sometimes all of the color tends to be in the middle. So I'm trying to pour on the ends here and it's actually kind of tricky to do. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, the tops of these look like modern art paintings. <laughs> So I'm going to clean up these sides just a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna let these sit a while while I mix up the piping, which is also going to be a peach color, by the way. And then we'll come back and put the tops on with all the embeds. Okay, so my piping is ready and I have already piped a little bit right here, just so that I could test it out and see if I like the consistency. I'm using the Royalty Soaps piping tip alongside the Atico tip that I purchased from Amazon, a link to both of those items in the description box below. So the first thing I wanted to say was, holy smoke, so many of you liked the King, um, King Orion soap last week. That is amazing. I had no idea that so many people were going to like the soap without the high top. So I will definitely be making more of those in the future since you guys like them so much. I have a few that I've already lined up and some probably around the holidays too. So we're definitely, we're definitely going to do some more of those. So as many of you know, I try to keep sort of like a 15 to 20 staple fragrances. And those are stuff like limoncello and olive branch and sugared strawberry. And then I make diamond soaps and perfume oils and body lotions with those. My best selling staple fragrance is Dragonfire and Brimstone. It's kind of new-ish and you guys seem to just love it. Well, many of you know, I actually did not create that fragrance. Caleb actually concocted that and he has come out with a new one. So if you if you like that one and you have a tendency towards fragrances that smell just a touch more masculine and, and don't really lean towards any um, fruity smells, this one is definitely going to be one that you like. So the fragrance is called Poseidon. It's a really aquatic masculine smell. He did such a good job with it, you guys. I absolutely love the scent. If you wanna get your your paws on it, it will be available in three different forms, lotion and um, perfume oil and diamond soap for the August 15th soap release. Okay, so all of my piping is on now, so I'm gonna start putting on the embeds. And the first embeds I'm putting on are these oranges. And I have some that are kind of clear and some that are kind of shimmery. I'm gonna put these shimmery ones on first. And I'm trying to keep them very, very much on one side because I have a lot of different items that need to go in on this soap. Then I'm gonna put one on the other side here. Oops, I accidentally put that one on the wrong one. And then I'm going to put a little heart on this one. I have different embeds for each soap this time. Some of them are going to have more of one kind. Some of them are going to have more of another kind. It's gonna be really cool to look at. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put a heart on this side. So I'm just gonna keep alternating these hearts and the little oranges all the way down. I feel like I will probably have to cut these with the single bar soap cutter because all of these embeds that I'm squishing in here are really close to each other, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna mess something up along the way. Okay, so I know this looks a little weird <laughs> right now, but it's just because I haven't put all of the embeds in yet. So the next thing that I'm going to put in is a little raspberry here on top, and I'm gonna alternate pink and red, just like this all the way down. These aren't really the most realistic looking strawberries. They're just a creative interpretation. <laughs> and I just said strawberries, not raspberries. I meant raspberries. <laughs> but yeah, these aren't super realistic. They just are kind of supposed to represent some of the colors that are on the inside. Also, this peach colored piping, I'm really digging. It looks, it's pretty much the exact same color actually as a peach milkshake if you ever go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> okay, so now that all of those are in, I'm going to add some more embeds. I'm going to add in these little scrolls here and a few of these little cubes all around and I will come back and show you what the finished product looks like because this is kind of taking forever. <laughs> oh my goshness you guys look at this. I love it so much and it smells so amazing. So obviously I put the rest of the embeds in and it smells. So obviously I put the rest of the embeds in and then I sprayed it with 90% rubbing alcohol and added some glitter and this is the final project. So I will be back in 24 hours and we will cut up these little beauties. And we are back to cut this soap. So I have actually cut some of this loaf off already <laughs> just because I needed to get it kind of out of the way for the video. 
So I have my bud cutter here. I have two different soap cutters. This is a single bar soap cutter and I have to use it sometimes whenever my embeds are kind of crowding each other and I don't want to slice them all up. So this has been sitting for a while. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can see we got a drop swirl going on in there. It's a lovely peachy color. That orange didn't stay very vibrant. I think that was because of the fragrance oil though, not because of the color in itself. And it does smell really, really nice. This is definitely one of my new favorite fragrances, my own self. Ooh, look at the inside of this one. Hey Caleb, you wanna pick out the question for today? Ooh, I like the way this one looks too. It looks like someone dropped a cherry right in the middle of it. Okay, the question for the day is, would you rather lose all your money and valuables, or would you rather lose all of the pictures that you've ever taken? Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'd rather lose all the pictures. I think I, wait, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, which one would you pick? Pictures. Pictures. Give me my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too. That would be really sad for me because I have like so much documented, especially for business stuff, but money's kind of important. <laughs> So that's what I would pick, but you guys should let us know by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner and casting your vote. I will be really interested to see what people say for this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, maybe even leave us a comment down below, and we will see you all soon. So I hope you have an absolutely royal week, and bye for now.